Welcome to Land Musings. Today we're going to be unboxing two of my new fountain pens. This one here is my Platinum 3776 and this one here is freshly wrapped by Bookbinders Design and it is the Sailor Pro Gear Slam Manyo Nuts. We'll start off with the Platinum 3776 Century Pen. This one is in the calico design, also known as Ishigaki, which translates to stone in Japanese. And full disclosure, I have actually already opened up this pen before, so you are not seeing the first look. But this is just so you can see what the pen looks like in its box. Here we have the warranty card, very exciting. A little Platinum 377 6th century brochure. And this pen comes with a free full ink cartridge and also a converter so you don't have to purchase any more extra bits and pieces to get this pen going. I'll just pop the box to the side so we can see this pen in all its glory. And I think it's so beautiful. I fell in love with this pen when Tom at Bookbinders Design introduced it to me in store and I have wanted it ever since, but have had to save up for this beauty. And the other thing is that it's not necessarily always in stock. It's made out of this celluloid material, which is difficult and expensive to produce nowadays and also highly flammable, apparently. Um, so not something that's uh, widely produced anymore. And so uh, in terms of production timeline, it takes a while for these to come back in stock. I'll just pop the cap on so you can see what it looks like posted. There we go. How beautiful is that? So pretty. I'll just line that up a little bit better. And it has a lovely weight to it as well. It's not too light and not too heavy. I would say it is definitely heavier than a Sailor Pro Gear Slim, um, but that's to be expected given it is a larger pen. Another feature of the Platinum pens is the slip and seal mechanism of the screw type cap, which keeps the ink from drying out. And I'll just take a moment to show you the beautiful gold nib. This is a 14K nib and I got this one in a fine. As I mentioned earlier, I had already opened up this pen prior to making this video and it has also already been inked. So I did ink this up with this Sailor Suki Gokoro ink, which is a lovely dark greenish, bluish brown. It depends on the paper that you're using uh, with this ink. Yeah, so that's what I have inked in this pen currently. Actually, you know what? I'll show you in my ink swatch book. I know this is a pen unboxing, but I am sure if you're interested in the pen, you may be interested in the inks as well. Let me just find it for you. Ah, here we are, just in the back here with my newest swatches that I still need to arrange. So that's it there, the Sailor Suki Kokoro ink. 
on this paper it's come out a little brown but um, on Ternoli River paper it shows up a little bit more greenish blue so yeah it's really unique in that way Now I'll just do some sample writing on some Rhodia paper for you. Let me just flip to a blank page. And yes, I know already I have a weird grip. So this is how I write. I can't change it. I'm too stubborn to change it now. <laughs> but yeah. This is my grip, and it's not going to change. Okay, back to the pen. <laughs> this feels beautiful to write with. The fine writes like a fine, a Japanese fine, um, similar to the Sailor pen. And it also has feedback similar to the Sailor pen as well, which... Um, I'm pleasantly surprised by. And if you're not sure what I mean by the Sailor pen feedback, um, both of these pens have feedback like you're writing with a graphite pencil, a grey lead, um, which allows you to have a bit more control with your writing experience. Um, with some of my fountain pens, there isn't very much feedback and it is super smooth and kind of slippery which can make cursive handwriting a little messy sometimes just bringing this a little closer so you can see my writing sample what i'll do now is compare the line width with my sailor pokey slim with the medium fine nib While I'm at it, I will just also compare it with a popular Muji 0.5 gel pen. I'm not sure if you can see the difference in the width, the line widths from that far back. So I'll just bring you a little closer. There you go. Quite similar. I would say, if anything, the Platinum writes like a 0 0.4. So that was my Platinum 3776 Century Celluloid Pen in the Ishigaki design, also known as Calico. And now moving on to my next pen. This one I have not unboxed before, so you are seeing it as I am seeing it for the first time. This was beautifully wrapped by Ada from Bookbinders Design, who are amazing and always treat me so well when I'm buying anything from their shop here in Melbourne. What I will probably do is just open this up off camera and then I will skip straight to the unboxing. Here is the blue sailor box. Just spin this around. There we go. We'll just open this up. And there she is, so beautiful. It is the Sailor Pro Gear Slim in the Manyo Nuts design. And I got this in the medium nib. Let me just get some scissors to cut this open. Oh, I love it so much. It is this olive green colour with the amber on the ends. 
The olive color is actually based off the shirakashi oak tree, which has nuts on it. And that explains the little nut detail on the finial there. Let me just bring you a little closer. There you go. So cute. And I'll just take the cap off so you can see the nib here. And I'm also loving that transparent amber around that grip section. So gorgeous. I think these two colors together suit so well. And so this amber color is based off the Yamabuki ink, um, which doesn't come with this set. Um, with this set, we get the Shirakashi ink, which is this olive shade. But boy, am I keen to get the Yamabuki ink now too. So that's the pen. And now I'll just take out the Manyo Shirakashi ink. So you can have a look at this beautiful bottle. It's also a substantial 50ml bottle. But I'm not quite sure this is what I will be inking the pen up with. I am actually thinking about inking it with this Diamine Autumn Oak colour I have here, which I think would work really well with this colour of the finial here. Ugh, I love it so much. It's so beautiful. Okay, time to give this pen a go. I have yet to decide what I will be popping into the converter. So for now, I will just do a writing sample with this pen dipped in this Sailor Shirakashi ink. Wait, you're out of frame. Here we go. Manyo nuts. Shirakashi. I don't know if you can hear that feedback but it's definitely there and I'm loving this medium nib. Some figure eights, some scribbles, I love that feedback. What I'll do is compare it with the Sailor Pro Gear Slim that I have. This one is the Grateful Crane. And it's in the medium fine nib, so let's have a look at the line width difference between the MF and the M. I'll just do some figure eights with the medium fine as well. And I'll bring you closer so you can see the difference there. As expected, the medium is thicker than the MF, and I love that. It will inevitably show more of the sheen and shading in the inks, um, but I am still not game to put a shimmer ink in my Sailor Fountain Pen. What I'll do now is showcase this Sailor Manyo Shirakashi ink a little more with one of my Wurrungle swatch cards and using my glass dip pen. I've been loving these swatch cards, they've been so much fun. Um, and also using this glass dip pen 
um, the other end for the ink swatches and then using the actual tip to write out the brand of the ink and also the name of the ink. So there you have it. That is the Sailor Manyo Shirakashi ink, which is this beautiful dark olive shade reminiscent of the Shirakashi oak tree, which is native to China, Japan, and Vietnam. And I do have a Vietnamese background, so there's another additional thing to love about this ink and this pen. I'm still undecided about the ink as much as I love this Shirakashi ink. <laughs> um, I do currently have a few pens inked with green at the moment. So I am just seeing what other options I have here. Um, it is likely I'm going to lean towards the Diamine Autumn Oak. There she is. Look at how great of a match that is. I I think that is going to be the one. <laughs> and, uh, I've got some more yellows here as well. And some more kind of brownish orange shades back here. I'm actually curious to see whether or not I have inks that are similar to this Shirakashi one at the moment. I am a big fan of greens and browns when it comes to inks. And there's Autumn Oak again. Yeah, look at that. It's perfect. It's a perfect match. I would say it looks closest to the Yamaguri, the Pilot Iroshizuku Yamaguri ink. That's probably where I'll pop it in this ink swatch journal. I guess I'll also explain why I love this Autumn Oak ink so much as well. I think this combo is going to mean a lot for me. Um, because autumn is my favourite season along with my husband's favourite season. It's the season in which we met. It's our wedding anniversary season and also our birthdays land in autumn as well. And the other thing is my husband's last name is Oaks. So that's just like an added And that is the end of this video. Thank you for joining me in unboxing both my Platinum 3776 Calico pen or Ishigaki pen and also my Sailor Manyo Nuts pen. If you liked the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And if you'd like to hear about more stationary journaling and planning things, please subscribe. And hopefully I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye.